brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm gonna smoke me a fat brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. I got my natural case. I've got the hogs on the Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up a barbecue bacon roll at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, for this recipe, you're going to need one pound of pork belly bacon. Uh, this happens to be an apple smoked bacon. Choose your uh, favorite uh, cured bacon, right? You're also going to need some rub, barbecue rub. And for this recipe, we're going to use a chili pepper right there or jalapeno right you've seen those before now let's get started with this recipe first thing we're going to do is we're going to take three or four slices off of this pound right we're going to set them aside for a minute now if you've never had a barbecue bacon roll before you definitely got to check this out this is some real good eating at the pit and uh, it's the ultimate snack food smoky tender melts in your mouth the perfect complement to your favorite beer or beverage, right? I don't need to say that. All right, now we're gonna take the rest of that bacon and we're gonna press it down. We're gonna flatten it out a little bit, right? And it's best to use your bacon at room temperature, right? If it's too cold, it won't be that pliable. So this is basically room temperature and we're flattening it out a bit and you'll see why. Oh, man. This looks good enough to eat already, right? But it's not. All right, we've flattened out that pork belly bacon a bit, and now we're gonna take a rub. And we're using our maple chipotle rub. Use your favorite barbecue rub. And we're gonna sprinkle it all over, just like that. Ooh. Now, you can introduce some heat or whatever. It's up to you what kind of rub you're gonna use. Now here we have a roasted pepper. You've seen these before. They have a very unique flavor and taste. And uh, what we're gonna do is place it right on the edge of the bacon because it's gonna be essentially inside, in the middle of this roll. Now we'll grab it, the bacon, and begin rolling it. Real easy to do, just like I said, right? Just roll it, stay firm. I think you know where we're going with this one, right? You've said that before. Just roll it. Just like that. Now bacon, as you know, is fairly sticky. It'll stay in place. But in order to keep this roll intact, you need to add more bacon. And we're going to wrap the outside of it with those three or four slices uh, we set aside. Now some could weave it. You've seen that technique before. You make a bacon weave, but now this works really good. Just take um, a few slices and wrap the outside. Now the bacon will act like a constrictor, like uh, an anaconda, right? As it cooks slowly, it'll constrict, it'll tighten, right? And it'll help keep this roll together. <laughs> Think you know about that, right? You've been watching us, baby. <laughs> All right, see that? You've got yourself a barbecue bacon roll right there. Now, take some more of your rub and give it a good dusting. All over. And of course, this is all pitmaster privilege. I'm sure you can come up with a lot of ideas what type of rub you prefer for seasoning. This will be like a sweet heat, very mild. Oh yeah, look at that. Well molded, and it will stay together. So, what we're gonna do now is place it on our grill, indirect, 
opposite the hot coals because we're low and slow in this. We're going to run a temperature of about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And it might take two hours, might even take more, all right? All right, we're about an hour into this. I'm going to check it. Got a ways to go. And we'll just turn it around and get that even cooking going on. And as always, in the miracle of time, this barbecue bacon roll is done. Take a look at that. <laughs> we'll pull it off the grill, and we want to let it set at least a half hour, maybe even more, right? Because you want it to um, you want it to stiffen up a bit, as they would say. Much easier to cut. Now. Take a look at this. We're gonna cut some thin slices off of it. <laughs> now this still is a bit warm. If you let it cool a little bit more, you might get uh, some better thin slices, but we couldn't wait. Now take a look at this. Yeah. Oh man, all that tender, smoky bacon flavor wrapped about chili pepper look at that all right now this here is better said a barbecue pit boys hors d'oeuvres and don't let anybody tell you this is not healthy this is real healthy for the mind and spirit right this is not gonna hurt you but we're going to put it on a fancy-ass plate here, make it look real pretty. <laughs> That's up to you. Gonna put in my bib, gonna mix some sauce. And we're going to slice up some pickled jalapenos. They work really well with this recipe. That's up to you how you want to set this up. You getting hungry or what? <laughs> now, as always, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this Pitmaster Privilege. So you're gonna have to make your Cracker, use your favorite cracker. I told you this was hors d'oeuvres. Put a slice of uh, pickled jalapeno on it. You smell that? It smells good. And if you can't, as I've said before, you're on the wrong damn channel. Next time, you might want to make two or three rolls. This is just right. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.